Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Galio, the Sentinel's Sorrow. Galio is primarily a tank, with a few splashes of burst magic damage and support. His passive, Runic Skin, converts his magic resist into ability power, meaning that as he becomes more resilient against spells, he increases the power of his own. Galio's first skill is Resolute Smite. He casts a projectile to a target area, damaging and slowing enemies. Second comes Bulwark. This is Galio's primary support skill, increasing his or an ally's armor and magic resist significantly. Additionally, any time that target is struck by a champion, Galio is healed. Righteous Gust is Galio's third skill. He deals damage to enemies in a line, and sets up a directional wind tunnel. Allies running in the same direction of your cast will run faster while inside it. Galio's ultimate is Idol of Durand. He channels a taunt while taking reduced damage. At the end of the taunt, he deals bonus damage, based on how many times he was hit while channeling. There are a few sets of runes you can use. Magic Penetration Marks and Flat Health Quintessences are definitely best, but Mana Regeneration per level or Health per level work for Seals, and Cooldown Reduction or Magic Resist are great for Glyphs. Try to stay away from Dodge as a stat. It might make your ultimate weaker. My Masteries are 9210. I take Magic Penetration and Cripple in Offense, taking all the relevant non-Dodge Defense Masteries as well. My Summoner spells are Exhaust and Ghost, allowing me to catch up to and slow enemies for my teammates. My first item is Chalice of Harmony. The mana allows me to spam more, and the magic resist feeds me ability power. For my first kill, I lead Malzahar with Resolute Smite. Combined with Righteous Gust, Karthus is able to easily camp on top of Malzahar to kill him. I run across Zillion and some friends in their jungle. Using Resolute Smite and Righteous Gust, I'm able to keep pace with him despite being assaulted by Udyr. As I channel Idol of Durand, Malzahar makes the mistake of walking into the radius. He is immediately taunted, and I get a double kill. As Arkarthus gets assaulted, I walk up to him so I may speed him up with Righteous Gust, while I slow the enemy Udyr with Resolute Smite. Remember that you have to cast Righteous Gust in the direction you want to run, so you might have to get near your teammates first. By level 9, I've maxed Resolute Smite, and have 2 points in Bulwark. I try to use Bulwark as I cast my other spells, since the bonus magic resist gives me increased damage. As I spam into the crowd, my enemies get nervous and assault me. The mere threat of my ultimate is enough to force enemies to stun me, so always wait a little while to cast it. Malzahar and Zillion are killed soon after Idol of Durand ends, as I run away low on health. Noting that Mordekaiser has no way of killing me now, I re-engage to keep him entertained in the fight, giving us another kill. In the enemy jungle, I pull a lot of attention. I send out Righteous Gust right before I get stunned, letting me run away very quickly. After soaking up Malzahar's and Mordekaiser's ultimate, I toss Resolute Smite onto Zillion as I leave. I put Bulwark on myself in time to take Zillion's Time Bomb and the last of Mordekaiser's ultimate, while Pantheon picks up a few kills on the cooldownless enemies. I max Bulwark after Resolute Smite. Not only does the armor and magic resist provide me or a teammate with exceptional durability, but I gain tons of ability power when I activate the spell. The duration is long enough that I can use the temporary buff to affect the damage of all three of my other spells. My next big items are Aegis of the Legion and Mercury Treads both because they give great magic resist, but also to support my team and allow me to break off stuns to start my ultimate sooner. Near my tower, I face Zillion and Malzahar. Once Time Bomb and Malefic Visions are placed on me, I self-cast Bulwark just in time for Nether Grasp. Ultimately, I only lose 300 health. Landing Resolute Smite and Righteous Gust brings Zillion extremely low, causing him to use his ultimate as my team catches up. Once Pantheon begins Heartseeker Strike on Malzahar, I use my improved exhaust to give him an easier kill. After the Aegis and Mercury treads, my next big items would be Banshee's Veil and Guardian Angel. Banshee's Veil helps me get my ultimate off, while Guardian Angel helps me balance out my resists and is just overall a phenomenal tank item. Thanks for tuning in to the Galio Champion Spotlight. 
spread your wings with Galio, because justice will be done. Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Galio, the Colossus. Galio's passive is Colossal Smash. His next basic attack deals bonus damage in an area scaling with his magic resist. Colossal Smash's cooldown is reduced whenever Galio hits enemy champions with his abilities. Galio's Q is Winds of War. He fires two gusts of wind in converging arcs that damage all enemies hit. When the blasts converge, they form a vortex for a few seconds that continuously deals damage in a small area. When combined with his passive, Winds of War lets Galio shred minion waves in seconds. Just make sure your positioning is solid. Line up the wind to hit both the front and back line. Galio's W is Shield of Durand, and it does a few things. First, it passively grants Galio a magic damage shield that refreshes if he avoids taking damage for a moderate period. Second, activating Shield of Durand causes Galio to enter a defensive stance for a short period of time. As long as the key is held down, he gains damage reduction and moves slowly. When the W key is ultimately released, Galio taunts all nearby enemy champions. Range and duration extend based on how long the stance was held. While Galio's charging Shield of Durand, the channel cannot be interrupted by crowd control, though Galio himself is still affected. There's no better way to start a fight than a flash taunt. Here, Galio preps Shield of Durand and moves in, using his defensive stance to weather damage from Varus and Ari. With the taunt fully charged, he flashes in for a brief but brutal skirmish. Rock solid. Galio's E is Justice Punch. When activated, Galio jumps back, winding up for a big ol' punch. After a brief delay, he lunges forward, knocking up and damaging the first, and only the first, enemy champion hit. Galio cannot punch his way over walls, but he can flash them. Justice Punch is great for starting fights, but Galio will run into trouble if he's trying to punch his way out of a brawl. Here, Shivana steps in front of the big fella while he winds up, blocking his dash so Caitlyn can serve up a little justice of her own. Galio's ultimate is Hero's Entrance. Galio chooses an ally to save, granting them Shield of Duran's damage reduction and flying to their current location, knocking up and damaging all enemies in the area when he lands. The knockup lasts longer for those in the center of the landing zone. Galio flies specifically to the spot the ally was when he activated the ability. It does not follow them. This ability can only be interrupted by crowd control before Galio takes to the air. Afterward, he's immune. Hero's entrance's damage reduction kicks in the moment Galio casts it. Use it to give your buddies a little extra oomph when they're diving for the big play. Five bot. Properly fighting as Galio requires you order your abilities correctly. Justice Punch closed the gap for the first use of Colossal Smash. Shield of Duran sets up for an unmissable Winds of War. By landing your abilities, Colossal Smash should be back up for your final bit of damage. When his lane's pushed, Galio's free to roam within a stone's throw of bot lane. Even though Caitlyn can see the indicator, Zyra's root holds her down for Galio's big entrance. The knockup allows for an easy chaining of Shield Durand into Winds of War, which wins the war. Going somewhere. Too easy. Hero's entrance can get buddies out of tight spots, but only if he gets the timing right. With Vayne already inches from death, Galio is unable to save her. And since the landing zone is based on where his ally was, he finds himself surrounded by big, scary-looking dudes. And also Ezreal. If he had made a hero's entrance beside Nami, potentially he could have achieved a different outcome. When you're a tanky warden, you can stroll straight into a battle. Garen's silence cannot stop Galio from catching his foes with a massive taunt via Shield of Durand. 
When Braum gets low, Galio busts out his own ultimate in the middle of the fight to show Garen his own special brand of Demacian Justice. After Justice punching to close the gap, Galio caps the fight with two final kills thanks to an empowered shield of the Rand plus Flash to catch Ezreal and Thresh. Thanks for watching the Galio Champion Spotlight.